All right, the boys are back. The Browns trading in the mountain views of West Virginia for the bleachers of Berea, practicing in front of their fans for the first time this training camp. Cameron Justice was there in Berea as a passing partnership is brewing. Tuesday, Browns fans got their first look at the team in action, but we've been seeing this action in OTAs, in minicamp, and even the first week of training camp down at the Greenbrier. One thing that we're continuing to see is the connection between quarterback Deshaun Watson and wide receiver Elijah Moore. The Browns have been able to use Moore in different ways, from showcasing his speed on deep balls to throwing him in the slot and even running him out of the backfield. Moore's addition to the Browns offense is something that has the team excited, and as the work continues, they're looking to show off his versatility. His ability to one, carry the ball, and then run routes out of that backfield. Maybe, you know, if they want to leave a linebacker in the game and try to match up with that, um, then obviously the advantage would go to him. He has that versatility where he can hand him the ball as well. Now, as for seeing that connection on Thursday in the Hall of Fame game, it's pretty unlikely. Head coach Kevin Stefanski said today that Kellen Bond will start at quarterback and Dorian Thompson Robinson will follow up. No Deshaun Watson in the Hall of Fame game and it remains to be seen if Elijah Moore will play and if he does it won't be much. Reporting in Berea, Cameron Justice, News 5.